Now let's move on to question number 75 of NEET 2017 video solutions and this is code R. So this question is basically from uh, equilibrium chapter that is uh, I, chemical equilibrium basically. So if you could see you have been given certain set of equations and you have been given a final equation for which you are supposed to calculate the k value that is equilibrium constant and you have been given variety of options over here. So let's try to analyze what exactly is going to happen over here. So let's have a look at the final question over here and if you could see here let's see what are the terms that are appearing and the terms which are appearing in these equation. So you have two moles of NH3 over here that is appearing only in equation number one right uh, so let's say if this is equation number a and this is equation number b and this is equation number c so i'm just taking abc so that you don't get confused over here so what exactly is going to happen so nh3 is coming onto the left hand side that means a should be reversed right so we are going to reverse a that means the equilibrium constant would be one by k1 right 1 by k1 so it would even get you uh, even become the reciprocal so if you could see here the next is 5 by 2 o2 so o2 is appearing over here right and there is no n2 uh, there is no N2 which is appearing so that means you cannot change this because once you change this the N2 will get imbalanced so that means you are supposed to keep this as it is right because there is no N2 appearing so this has to be kept as it is and if you could see here you have to make this 5 by 2 O2 and if you could see here there is 3 moles of H2O which is not appearing anywhere so what I would do is I would e multiply equation number C by 3 right so that means when I multiply this equation by 3 the equilibrium constant would definitely would become k3 cube right so that means you should search for that alternative that has uh, k1 in the denominator and k3 cube in the uh, numerator obviously and uh, one more thing is k uh, this k2 is as it is because equation uh, 2 equation b is as it is right so let's try to find out let's try to figure out so you have k2 k3 cube by k1 right so this is the answer by the method which i told you now let's try to do this uh, in a diff in the actual manner in which it has to be done which is a little bit time consuming so i'm going to start with the solution for this particular question so as i said let's multi let's uh, uh, let's reverse uh, let's reverse equation 2 so when you reverse equation 2 you get 2 nh3 in equilibrium with uh, n2 plus 3H2, well, I'm not mentioning the physical state, so the equilibrium constant becomes 1 by K1, right? And then this is kept as it is, so N2 plus O2 in equilibrium with 2NO. So in this case, this is going to be K2 itself. And then equation, so I'm going to equ multiply equation C by 3. So that means it, has to, it would become 3H2 plus 3 by 2O2 giving me like 3H2. I guess the equilibrium sign is very much necessary. It might have been a misprint in the paper. So you are going to reverse 2. You are going to uh, keep K, uh, you are going to reverse equation A. And then you are going to keep B as it is. Now if we add everything, so this is going to be basically equation A that is reversed and plus equation B plus 3 times equation C. Right? So what exactly do you get? You get 2NH3. Let's try to write down these. So 2NH3 plus N2 plus O2 plus 3H2 plus 3 by 2O2. It would give me N2 plus 3H2. Correct? Uh, plus 2NO plus 3H2. Let's try to cancel out the common terms. So the terms which are going to get cancelled over here is N2 and N2. So you don't need to bother about this. 3H2 and 3H2 that goes off. And then finally you are left out with 2 moles of NH3 plus O2 plus 3 by 2 O2. So 1 plus 3 by 2 makes it to be 5 by 2 O2. 5 by 2 O2 give me, giving me very simple 2 NO plus 3H2. Let's try to compare with the required equation. Yes, this is the correct way. So you could use this shortcut method and let's try to see this what exactly has happened. So you have reversed equation one. So that means it is equation A that is one by K1. 
K2 is kept as it is and then K3 is multiplied three times. So it is going to be K2, K3 cube divided by K1, which is the required answer. Okay, so the correct answer, correct answer to this particular question is um, option three. Okay, so the correct answer is option number three. For more such videos, please comment, like or subscribe.